Hey strangers, it's Friday. I'm actually filming this at like 9 at night because I thought I was kicked out until um, I got Raquel's message, which for some reason I didn't get until now, even though it was sent almost a day ago. So I don't know what happened there. Um, so I guess we're all doing the Naramon survey, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And I have the questions right here. Um, and my nook just unplugged. Um, why are you called that? My first name, I mean, not my first name. What, 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 what's words? Um, my full name, actually, I actually have four names. Four, well, four, four names in my name. Um, Taylor is my first name. Um, uh, I'm, I was literally named Taylor just because my mom thought it was cool and was sort of like, the thing to name your kids like last names or boys names or whatever I don't know just because my parents liked it not really anything special there my first middle name is Elizabeth which was my great-grandmother's name um, my third name is land which is my mother's maiden name and I think I now realize that that's only in my name because when I was born, my parents were married at the time. I always thought it was because it was, like, cool. I mean, I, I think it's cool. Um, I just put it there, but now I think that might be the reason. Tell me if I'm wrong, Dad. You're probably watching this. Um, what? Oh, my last name? Moore. It's, I don't know where, it's probably one of those names that was, like, I don't know. I don't know where the name Moore came from. My brother makes this joke, it's because everybody wants more of his sexiness. And I'm like, dude, shut up. You, you're not sexy. Well, I mean, you're related to me, so you have to have some sexy in there somewhere. But My brother with glasses looks like Estonia from Italia. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, tell us about your favorite school teacher. I have a few favorite school teachers. But I think my number one from the past was my um, biology or life science, I like the same thing, uh, I think, teacher from the seventh grade, Mr. Shelton, who was this awesome old guy, bald guy with glasses, who shot himself through the knee so he always wore a leg brace, um, who actually taught me more about how the importance of being involved in politics and school and everything and just... Uh, it was just really, really funny. Like, he took, like, 20 minutes of class giving everyone nicknames. Mine was Tailgate, like Taylor. Um, he, we'd be taking a test, and he'd cut out, like, a heart if he was bored, drop it by somebody's uh, desk, and, like, start, like, making up this love letter. Like, he'd pick on people all the time. He was awesome. So, he was sort of... Like a John Green before I knew who John Green was to me, I guess, in a few ways. So, yeah. Um, what's the strangest food you've ever eaten? I have not eaten many strange foods, but if you are talking about strange food combinations, I really like Ritz crackers with melted chocolate. But my grandmother did once, it was either my grandmother or her brother, a, a, like, chocolate-covered ants, or chocolate-covered crickets, which isn't me, but, I mean, it's an odd thing to eat. Um, I think I might have had, um, I had caviar once, I think, which I think is weird. I mean, apparently to rich people it's not it's fancy, but, um, I ate, uh, the snails. I can't, escargot. I think I had escargot once when I was on a cruise. The only cruise I was ever on, the cruise, I guess. Um, tell us about your first gig. And considering the other strangers' answers, I'm guessing that's your first concert. And please don't laugh at me. My first concert ever that I like consider going to a concert was the Jonas Brothers because when I was like nine or ten. I would, no, I was 10. I had a huge obsession with them. And now I'm like, I wasted three days with people I now hate. It's because I went with my neighborhood friends. Um, 
to and spent way too much money for my birthday going to see a band that I now hate and is now nothing and because one of them has a reality show. You know your career has gone downhill when you have a reality show. Like really, that's when you know you should go and live a normal life. Did I did I say the band the Jonas Brothers? Yeah, that was it. I got really sick afterwards. And my mom ate too much crab and, like, puked everywhere that night. Got dark. Okay. Um, what is your favorite place in the world? Um. <laughs> Tumblr? <laughs> um, my bedroom, maybe. Um, these are all gonna be really boring. Um, there's a park that used to, that was down the street from the private school I used to go to. We, we went there on a field trip once, like, walking there. Um, it's somewhere I go a lot. I mean, like, it's something that people around here go a lot. Maymont Park, it's got, like, it's sort of like a zoo, but there's other stuff, too. Um, probably either the Roman Gardens or the Japanese Gardens, which has a waterfall and just really pretty, like, you know, um, cherry blossom trees, and, you know, it's the Japanese Gardens, and it looks really cool, and you can climb up and go to the Roman Gardens, and it's like, yeah, Maymont. And all the trees. I like to climb the trees there. Um, also, the woods in the back of my old house when it snowed because it looked like Narnia. And when we were kids, we'd always go back there and, you know, always explore through the woods. And, yeah. Although, if you walked right, right through the woods, you could get to CeCe's. Not CeCe's. Little Caesar's Pizza. I had a dream that there was a big extended hallway from my house that you could just walk down and go to Little Caesars and get pizza and then come back. Um, last one. Who do you want to answer the survey next? I want the next... Wait, Oliver already did it. Um, you know who I want to answer the survey? Um, my friend Bryn, because she made a YouTube channel. Well, actually, I made her a YouTube channel. And now I want to do the survey. Um, her birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday, Brynn! Um, and... Yeah, since you guys already answered it, I mean... What you gonna do? Literally, there's, there's no one else. Um... Okay, so thank you for watching this really bad video. Hey, full of welcome t-shirt. If you know what that is, then I love you forever. Like, I want to give you a big hug. Um. Oh, this is eight minutes long. I apologize. Oliver, I will see you tomorrow. And thank you for not kicking me out. Again, I think I'm going to apologize for, like, the rest of my life for not making a video for two months. Uh, I don't like to think about it. I love you. I'll... Goodbye.